An emotional and heated protest in the East Bay. The murder of this 20 year old woman in Richmond shining light on a new law for juvenile offenders. The teen who pled guilty to her murder is now facing up to eight years in custody. KPX 5's Don Lynn at the Contra Costa County Superior Court in Walnut Creek. And Don, the judge says she's not proud of the outcome, but her hands are tied, right? That's right, Veronica. Uh, the judge says she would not allow this to happen had it not been for Senate Bill 1391. She says she cannot allow uh, passion to dictate her ruling. Instead, she has to follow this new law. And the victim's family says they feel like they're being victimized again. Seeing the person that murdered my sister admit to it, and while he's admitting to it, smile. That was very. <laughs> It was very hard. The victim's family cried in court as a teenage suspect admitted to killing and robbing 20 year old Ali Schweitzer. The teen also admitted he shot another man two days earlier during a home invasion robbery. We had our world, and he took a spike and put it on top and hit it with the hammer. He shattered it. I don't think he'll ever understand that. I don't think he'll ever care. Melanie Schwartz says Senate Bill 1391 shields young criminals like her daughter's killer, Vincent Lysen Campos. Lysen Campos was 15 when he shot Schweitzer at a Richmond Park in 2017 during a marijuana transaction. Given his criminal record and his ties to a street gang, prosecutor planned to try him as an adult. He was facing life in prison. SB 1391 went into effect this year. Saying teens who commit crimes when they're 14 or 15 years old cannot be tried in the adult system. The person that murdered my sister has more rights and has more voice than we do. A judge accepted a plea deal from the teen today. He'll be released from juvenile hall in about eight years when he turns 25. There's been nobody that believes that this killer will be rehabilitated. So I also have a duty to the public and to the victim's family. Aside from this new law, the family is also upset with Cocoa County's DA. Uh, they believe the DA should challenge this uh, new law. Uh, some other counties have filed uh, lawsuits to challenge this new law. By the way, the suspect's public defender sent me a statement late this afternoon. He says uh, SB 1391 is going to give the teenager a second chance. He believes his client uh, will get the opportunity to learn from this. He also says we cannot compound the tragedy of losing one young person by throwing away, uh, by throwing away the life of another person, live in Wana Creek. I'm Dalen, KPIX Five.